let's talk about the basics on how to tamp your coffee. It might seem like something simple, but it's actually one of the most important things when it comes to pulling a good espresso shot. There's three main types of tampers, a calibrated one, spring-loaded, or a palm tamper. We're going to be primarily using palm tamper today. The goal is to have a nice, firm, and even tamp. They say you should use about 30 pounds of force, but what exactly does that look like? You're obviously not measuring every time. The goal isn't to tamp as hard as you can, it's to tamp as consistently firm as you can. Ultimately, with tamping, the goal is to compress the grounds to collapse any channels to help the water move more freely and evenly through your puck. You really only need to tamp until the grounds stop moving. After you grind, either use a WDT or gently tap the side of the basket to level off the grounds. It's important to tamp on a flat surface so you get a nice even tamp. I like to create a right angle with my arm and lean in with my body to create pressure while pushing down and then twisting at the end. 